Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video in store for you guys. It's my birthday makeup tutorial, so continue watching if you want to see how I created this look. Alright, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips with the Smith Rosebud Solve. And I'm going to come in by priming my face with the Nivea Men's Post Shape Balm. This is pretty standard for me, I just really can't get over it at the moment. I think it's absolutely amazing for keeping your makeup on all day long, and it's a little pore minimizing for my oily skin, which is also really nice. And it creates a nice even finish, an even base to go in with foundation, which is perfect for what I'm looking for. I'm just going to smooth that all over my face and really just rub it in, and it's going to get a little tacky as it starts to set, and I wait until it's completely set and is no longer tacky on the skin before I go in with my foundation. So with that primer setting, I'm going to prime my eyes with the NARS Pro Prime Sponge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm just going to tap this and then just rub it in. So now that my primer has set, I'm going to come in with the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. Yeah, this is the Skin Foundation Stick and it looks just like this. Just a little stick foundation, and I start off applying it in stripes, like that. And I like applying it with my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush, and I start by applying that, or just buffing that foundation out in circles. You can also come directly in like this and apply to your skin. But I think just, you know, striping it on your skin is a lot faster. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with just my stripes. Now I'm going to come in with my Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Bisque and apply that under my eyes right here. I like to tap this really close to my lash line because that's where the majority of my darkness is. So like right up under my lash line and then on my inner corner. Now I'm going to apply my Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Light Warm and I also like to use this because it's as you'll see is a very yellow tone shade. And I like to use this because it also helps cancel out some discoloration under my eyes. And I'll just tap that in with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to come in with my MAC Paint Pot. This is in the shade Vintage Selection. This is beautiful, kind of purpley, pearlescent shade that's just kind of champagne-y. And it's really beautiful on the eyes. In my eyeshadow, I'm going to come in with my Marc Jacobs Lolita Palette. This palette is just such a beautiful palette. It has all of these amazing shades of neutrals. We've got really glittery, shimmery shades. These are shimmers, but they're so beautiful in the eyes. I love this bronzy tone. This one's a little bit more of a champagne. And then this one is purple tone. It has these amazing neutrals on the side too that you can use. So I'm gonna come in first with this brown, light brown neutral shade. I'm gonna throw that in the crease. I'm gonna apply this with my Sigma E35 Taper Blending Brush. Just tap that into that light brown shade and start blending that into the crease. Now I'm just going to blend that out with this Sonia Kashuk 109 brush. I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery color in the palette. I'm going to take that on this Trish McAvoy 21 large lay down brush. 
pop that all over the lid. I'm gonna come back in with that same brown color I used in the crease. And I'm gonna clean up the edges of this just a little bit. For a little bit more definition, I'm gonna come in with this really dark brown. I'm gonna apply that with this brush. This is a Sigma E45, and I'm just gonna tap that lightly in here, mix it a little bit with this brown, and just come in to the outer corner, just tapping that into the outer V, into the outer corner in a V shape. Just building up a lot of concentration of a dark shadow right at the edge, right here. Most where your crease and your lash line meet, and then just blending it slightly into the crease, and then pulling it down on your lash line. I'm going to come in with your E25 and just blend out the edges so it's very blown out, very blended. There are no harsh lines, it's just like that. I'm going to take that same brush by Trish McAvoy with the other side and tap it in this white shadow. And we're going to apply that right here on the brow bone. Just like that. Also going to apply it in the corner. Our last step is we're going to take that dark brown shadow again on this flat definer brush. This is an E15. It's just going to tap that right in there and then line our eyes with that shadow. So just keep it really, really close to your lash line and super dark. Now I'm going to further define my eyes by applying this eyeliner, which is Urban Decay's Demolition. And I'm just going to apply that on my waterline by lifting up my eyelashes. Oops. Lifting up my eyelashes like this. Just drawing and wiggling the liner between the lashes themselves. Now I'm going to set my under eye concealer with this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm going to take the top of that and apply just whatever is on the lid and I'm just going to tap some of that on my tapered highlighter F35 brush. See it picks up a lot so I really want to tap off the excess because I don't need much. I'm going to tap that right the center and then pull towards my nose. You want to set your concealer towards your nose because this is going to go against the natural way your eyes crease, which is your eyes crease in this direction. So if you set going in the opposite direction, it's going to make it less likely for your concealer to settle in your fine lines and crease in your fine lines. Coming back to my Marc Jacobs Lolita palette, I'm going to grab that light brown shade again and I'm going to run it under my lash line. I'm using a pencil brush. This is an E30. I'm just going to take it and run it just like this. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to set my whole face since I'm not coming in with any more cream products. So I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It's just like this. And I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Face Blender Brush. I like a white hair natural hair brush because it's going to apply this powder very sheer. Because I don't want a heavy wash of powder. I just want to make sure my foundation is set and it's not going to move throughout the day. So I'm going to come back most likely and I'm going to blot with a different powder so I don't want to make that, I don't want my face to be really heavy with all of these layers of different powders. Since my under eye concealer is all set with a powder, I'm going to come in with a mascara. Right now I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So this little tester, I've been really liking it because it provides a lot of definition and but a lot of volume but it's defined volume now i'm going to fill in my brows with this anastasia brow definer now i'm going to come in with my chanel my beige bronzer this is such a beautiful product and has a really warm undertone which is great for the foundation i'm wearing and my skin tone which is pretty warm so i'm just going to apply this product with my trish mcavoy 2b sheer blush brush so i'm just going to apply that right here I'm applying this under my jaw, on my chin, around my nose, a little bit on this side, my forehead. Now I'm coming in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. So it has these six blush shades and these more neutral tones at the bottom with these brighter tones at the top and it's just 
been my go-to blush palette for the last few days since I've been reviewing it, but I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Hush. I'm gonna grab that on my Real Techniques blush brush, and then as usual, I'm gonna take my powder brush and just blend out the edges of my blush because I like a more sheer blush look. I just like a very light flush without any crazy blush action. Now I'm going to take my Becca highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. This is such a beautiful highlight shade. It's this like warm kind of champagne gold color that works really well. This look since it's so warm. Brush. I'm just going to tap that into the product, tap off the excess, and then come straight in my cheekbones. So this is a really intense highlight, but it's so beautiful. Just right here. Last thing I'm doing is lips, so I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the color Pillow Talk, and I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going to come in with this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Penelope Pink and just apply that all over. I'm going to top that off with this Laura Mercier gloss in the shade Bare Pink. Tap that in the center of my lips. Alright, well that's the finished look. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by subscribing down below or giving it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!